this is Stu picking up again with 2058 County Road 17 for our outdoor um, tour, just because these videos do get too long to upload. Um, one note from the video for, that I first shot, you may have noticed it, but if not, there is a wet certified little fireplace in there with a, um, a nice little brick hearth around it. So that's a fun feature. But uh, here's the outdoor profile of your home. Again, from the first video, we're at about 120, 25-ish wide lot um, by about the same distance back. It does go a little further past that tree line, I'm told, but for your intents and purposes, that's probably gonna be your yard. A little garden shed off the side. Um, and there's like a little bunky shed in the back. But the important part for your sort of outbuildings, if you will, is a nice uh, double door garage here with its own uh, front entrance besides also that little um, breezeway that we looked at. There's my lovely broker that uh, helped us get this set up today. Thank you, Bill. Absolutely. I'm um, going into the backyard. So I'm thinking that garage could be a really good potential for another unit or suite. There is the basement though that already has the one bedroom. Just a little more limited in size down there. Who knows, we'll get the square footage for that to you and have a different opinion. Just thinking with the washroom down there, a little kitchenette or something, it could get a little, a little tight. All right, pretty simple back here. Looks like some uh, fun garden potential. I'm told there's tons of uh, perennial uh, planting here with gardens that they haven't quite had time to continue working on, but that could be different for you. It's good to have those profiles there. We have our hot tub, little deck at the back with the barbecue. Um, there's the little breezeway between the house and the garage. The snow is very deep. <laughs> Bear with me. I might be going home to change my socks. There's a little arbor there. Cute little compost. Not sure what this building is, but it is here. It has some windows with blinds. It may actually be a little bunky. Anyway, from the side here, we've got a garden hose electrical. Um, this raised area, I'm going to guess, it's probably the septic. We can find out from the owner later where on the map that would be. A little AC unit there. Propane. Rented from Greer specifically. 200 amp service in. Looks like we've got Bell internet out here, which is great. Uh, the county internet can be terrible, but if that's what I think it is, it's probably gonna have a guaranteed 25 megabits down and five megabits up. And that front door, that looks like it may have used to be the main front door back in the past. Um, chimney stack there for fireplace just to kind of give you a visual reference in case you were to change your layout at all. And that's pretty much it. We have the neighboring farm there and another one there. This looks to be more like a little bit of farm equipment and a bit of a barn scenario. We're next door here. We have uh, just a nice built home. The good thing to know about the accessory uh, acreage, as I was calling it, is it's very limited to how much development can happen there. There's one giant lot here and one giant lot over there and then farm fields off the back. All right, that's everything from the outside of the house. Thank you very much.